everyone welcome back to day three i hope you guys are good hope you guys are well i'm actually in the spare room of my home um i needed some peace and quiet and this was the perfect place to do that um but yeah thank you guys so much for joining me i actually wanted to talk about a horror film that me and Aisha watched this week it's called incantation on netflix apparently everybody's been going on about how scary it is um and that some of them don't want to watch it on their own so you know what i was like let's just watch this movie let's just see what this this whole thing is about my brother said he didn't want to watch it either because <laughs> he said he didn't want to watch it alone so i was like oh okay you know what let's just give it a go apparently it's compared to the same horror movie as um veronica which was on netflix i don't know some years ago i watched that one i didn't find it scary so i was like you know what let's see what this is about practically this movie is about a buddhist religion apparently it's a malevolent religion that is the opposite of the buddhist religion which i thought was really quite interesting i was like oh i've never heard of this before i mean i know a lot of buddhist people um they have their own way of uh, their own god of worshipping and um this one was the most interesting one the whole horror aspects was like pretty stupid in my opinion <laughs> half the time me and Aisha were like so confused we were like trying to figure out what is going on and then um the movie didn't really emphasize a lot on what the religion was about and what they worshipped all I could see from the movie was this is a a deity god called mother buddha who practically when you chant her name practically you're supposed to get blessings but in order to get those blessings you have to give your name which i thought was quite interesting so this religion originates from india like during the ancient times and somehow it ended up spreading out all over asia some parts of asia and then it ended up reaching a certain family who lived in that part of um, China. So the, the whole movie was just absolutely confusing. Not only that, I really, really wanted to know more about that religion because there wasn't much emphasized. And apparently the whole chanting is not a blessing, but it's a curse. Practically when you chant, when you chant certain names of it, um, it's a curse. You put a curse on somebody or someone. And so the family has been chanting this, I mean, who knows for how long, maybe for centuries. And in order for you to be blessed, you have to keep, you have to keep chanting. It was just really weird. Like how we do prayers in church. When you pray all the time, you get your blessing. Well, this was the complete op opposite. And yeah, the spirit is just, to me, demonic in nature, um, evil in itself. And so I thought, oh, okay. I don't think I found it scary, I just found it interesting. And then there was one part of the movie, I think it must have lasted for five minutes, where practically the screen just turns into this, um, it looks like ritual ruins with um, the chanting in the middle and practically you could say each word. And I was just sitting there like, oh, absolutely not. I'm not chanting any of this. No way, no thank you. And the opposite of the hand gestures, like you'll see in the pictures I'm putting up, um, practically it's like their sign or their way of the mother Buddha. It's actually really creepy, absolutely freaky. Probably one of the most interesting ones I've watched. Um, my only downfall was if only they could have just emphasized more about this religion, who worshipped it, what parts of Asia worshipped it. I mean, it would have been more interesting, but it was just downright creepy. And overall, um, I thought, oh, okay, I see why people found it really weird and scary. For me personally, I think I just wanted to know more of the background or, or the history of it. But yeah, the movie didn't do that. It was just really stupid. And half the time the decisions made in that movie made my blood boil because I wanted to punch the main character because everything that she did was just out of whack and out of context and so me and Aisha actually talked about it we tried looking it up and yeah it is an actual like religion but I don't think many Buddhist people practice it as much as they used to um so yeah I don't know if you guys are interested you want to watch something interesting or something that has some hor sort of horror aspects in the Asian 
um, horror film, then I think this is definitely something you should watch. If you're not into the whole horror films today, then try and watch this one on Netflix because it is some downright creepy crap. Make sure that when you watch it, you know, you've got the balls to watch it because some people don't like watching that stuff. I basically, I don't like watching stuff that involves like something else that's malevolent, especially if, if it's an evil thing. Um, but yeah, just, yeah, just be mindful and yeah, um, just know that if you, if you want to watch it, go and watch it. If you don't want to watch it, then that's cool. I don't blame you. Honestly, your choice. But yeah, other than that, guys, let's get this vlog started. And welcome back to day three of this vlog if you've ended up making it this far i appreciate you we still have more videos to go 31 days of daily vlogs so let's hope i keep my end of the bargain and continue to vlog i'm actually in the car at the moment i'm heading off to work i have an afternoon shift usually me Aisha, and my brother work afternoon shifts but my brother's shifts have changed now so he does like morning shifts at 3 a.m in the morning so it's weird when me and Aisha are going to work in the afternoon he's coming home so it's really weird but um yeah let me know how your your work life and the work hustle is like and if you're like a full-time worker part-time casual or do you prefer morning shifts or afternoon shifts i honestly would prefer morning shifts because i like to do things after my morning shift um but some people prefer like afternoon to nighttime shifts i don't know if i will get used to afternoon or morning shifts but i just prefer morning because i don't know i just prefer being up in the morning some people don't like morning shifts they prefer afternoon um so yeah i'm actually heading off to work it'd be so nice for me to vlog but yeah, most times, most workplaces don't allow it. So no surprises there. There's nothing for me to vlog. But I just came back from 7-Eleven. I just got a coffee. So I'm sitting in the car park um, drinking my coffee. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys tonight. But anyways, I am going to head off to work and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.